It sounds like a good idea, right? Jackets keep you warm, Milwaukee Tools are awesome, a battery-powered heated jacket from Milwaukee Tools should be amazing, right? Yeah, well, that's what I thought too, and I was surprised at how much I did not like this jacket. It's not all bad, but overall, it wasn't the warm, toasty, heated experience I was hoping for, and combined with the price, I'd have a hard time recommending it to anyone. Let me explain. So in case you didn't know, Milwaukee started making this outdoor gear that they dub heated gear. It's a line of jackets, vests, hooded sweatshirts, basically outdoor cold gear related items and they incorporate their M12 battery technology into the garment themselves. So it plugs in and it basically heats it and uh, it keeps it nice and toasty. In theory, it sounds like a great idea. And the battery is the first thing that I kind of had an issue with. The M12 battery is three separate cells located in sort of a triangle pyramid form factor, essentially, which works great for tools as you're sliding them in and out of the handles. But on clothing, it's just, it's not the right form factor. Again, the three cells that make up the M12 battery are located in a triangle configuration. And the problem is that that is just, it feels bulky in your pocket. That You mount the battery on the side, it has a slide in uh, kind of zipper pocket there. You can kind of wear it in back sort of on your kidney or up front in one of the front pockets too. I didn't find any of those locations to be particularly comfortable. The back one uh, is a pain if you're sitting in like a vehicle. Like sitting on that battery back there is not super comfortable at all. And having the battery located up in the front pocket, that's not great either. Again, the battery is just heavy and the form factor is wrong. If they could rearrange the cells to be in a straight line rather than the triangle pattern, it would be better, but that would involve, you know, changing the whole architecture and form factor of their entire battery lineup, which I do not blame them for not wanting to do. Uh, the result is a battery that isn't ideal. Now, the thing I like most about this jacket is the jacket itself. It's a nice jacket. I like the, the color. It's an all black jacket. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of different logos or branding or anything. It has a very small Milwaukee, you know, insignia on the, on the chest there. I hate jackets that are big and loud with the branding. I'm not looking to wear a NASCAR jacket or a snowmobile jacket, you know, just out and about in my daily life. Those jackets look cool when you're at the NASCAR race, when you're on a snowmobile, you know, day to day use. Those jackets look stupid to me. This jacket is all black. It looks great. I wore it casually. I would wear it out to dinner, running errands. I really liked the jacket itself. Now, some of you watching this video are going to think my title is a little bit harsh and my thumbnail equating it to dog poop is maybe a little extreme and that may be but my least favorite thing about this jacket and what i was most disappointed about was the actual heating of the jacket which is why i bought the thing in the first place in my experience wearing the jacket it was hard to tell if it was even on i mean it wasn't like it was getting too hot and i had to dial down the different settings it was like is this thing even on I was constantly checking the LED button to make sure that, yep, yep, it's on, it's on full power. I could not feel that it was even on most of the time. And I think I know the problem. When you're in a car, for an example, and you have a heated seat, all of the weight of your body is pressing you down into the seat, and that heating coil is pressed as close to your body as possible. When you're wearing a jacket and you're just kind of moving around, the jacket really isn't as tight fitting to your body as you'd need it to be for a heating coil in the jacket itself that actually make that big of a difference. Now, if I just had a t-shirt on and put the jacket over the top, you can tell that the heat is on and that it's working. The problem is in winter, I'm rarely ever just wearing a t-shirt and throwing a jacket over the top because it's winter and it's cold out. So I'm wearing a t-shirt and I have a hooded sweatshirt over the top or I have a long sleeve t-shirt or a quarter zip Patagonia or a full zip Patagonia. Anyways, I have something on my base layer that's given me a little more warmth than just a t-shirt. The more distance between the heating coil and that jacket and your skin, the more distance you have, it's just not enough for that heating coil to be pressed close enough to you just in daily wear where it's actually going to make a difference. So Milwaukee knows that the loose fitting nature of a jacket is kind of a problem with this. And actually their sizing chart recommends that you wear a much smaller size than you normally would. 
Now I'm about 6'2", six 6'3", six I weigh about 185, 190 pounds. Uh, I'm a lanky dude. I don't know if you can see this wingspan here, but uh, based on my measurements, this sizing chart was recommending that I wear a size small jacket. I tried the on the size small jacket and uh, I should have taken a video of that because it was hilarious because the sleeves are, you know, riding up my arms and the, it's not long enough. So it's kind of this cute little belly thing where you raise your shirt and it kind of rides up on you. I, I wear a large jacket just based on my body dimensions in that, you know, the large is, is kind of the standard size. It's not a super baggy jacket, but I do like to wear a sweatshirt underneath my jacket. And with this, it just, it just doesn't work all that well. Now, another issue with this jacket that I found is the price. So like you got the jacket, it's an okay jacket. It looks good, stylish, whatever. The heating element, eh, maybe that doesn't work as well as you had hoped, but uh, you know, it's still a good jacket, which is where we bring price into the equation. And that's where it all kind of falls apart for me. Believe it or not, this is almost a $300 jacket. Now, yes, you can buy them on sale sometimes. You can get maybe end of the season closeouts. And this one actually did come with a battery. So it's a little bit more expensive. I don't know if you can do the tool only uh, option for these and just get the jacket without the battery. If you could, that would make it a little more affordable. But if you're paying, you know, 225, 250, 289, whatever it is, that's really expensive for a jacket that, in my opinion, doesn't really work all that great. Now, I don't think the heated gear lineup from Milwaukee is a total waste of money. If I had known what I know now, what I would be doing is looking at maybe the vest or the hooded sweatshirt and kind of look at heating that base layer rather than the outermost layer, which would be the jacket. I really do think that if you had a tighter fitting vest or the hooded sweatshirt that you were wearing underneath a jacket, it'd just be closer to your body and you'd get more of a benefit. So I ran this jacket basically all winter long and ultimately uh, I don't even keep a battery in it anymore. I still wear the jacket. Again, I like it as a jacket and I already I already bought it, so like, what am I gonna do? So that's just kind of my, my, my winter jacket. I just wear it as, as a piece of clothing. And my recommendation is that if you're going to buy tools, buy them from a tool company. If you're gonna buy clothing, buy them from a clothing company. Look at Carhartt or, or something like that that is known for making uh, exterior jackets and you know warm type gear like that. I just think your money is better spent on quality outerwear and leave the Milwaukee brand stuff to the cordless power tools that we all know and love. I hope you liked this video. If you did, think about subscribing to the channel. If you think I got it wrong and I'm totally full of crap on this jacket, if you have the jacket and you love it, let me know about it in the comments. Maybe I'm wearing it wrong, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. I bought the jacket, I reviewed it, I ran it for a full winter. I'm unimpressed. I still stand by my title. This thing sucks.